Hey everyone, Brian here, Hodges1455, coming at you with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a video response for the card pile, who in a recent video uh, wanted us to share some of the graded cards in our collection with a point in the grade. And so this is a 1936 Gaudi Paul Wiener in a 2.5. I'm going to try to speed through these because I have quite a few here. And a 1929 R316 Cash and Pub of Eddie Rommel and at 3.5. And these are pretty neat. The When they press these, the ink would show through, but you could see the outline of where it was pressed. This was so fun. Really enjoy those. And a 1948 Bowman Ralph Kiner rookie card in a 1.5. In a 1956 Tops Pittsburgh Pirates team card in a 4.5. A 1962 Tops Venezuelan of Harvey Haddix in a 1.5. It's got the initials on there. Used to be in Obi-Wan Kenobi's personal collection. And let's see here, a 1967 Venezuelan League card and a 4.5. Another 1967 Venezuelan League card in a 1.5. A 1970 Tops of Dick Buckus in a 6.5. A 2001 Fleer Authority. Ichiro Suzuki rookie card in an 8.5. A 1971 tops of Rick Monday in a 6.5. Nineteen seventy three tops Hank Aaron and a three point five. A nineteen eighty five tops Tiffany of Rod Carew and a six point five. A nineteen eighty nine upper deck. King Griffey Jr. Rookie Card in a 8.5. A 2000 Greats of the Game Autograph Card of Preacher Row in an 8.5. Two thousand one Fleer Authority rookie card of Mark Tixera in an eight point five. A twenty twenty one Tops Tribute of K. Brian Hayes in an eight point five. Another 2021 Tops Tribute. Triple Threads of K. Brian Hayes and a 9.5. It's a really fun looking card there. The back looks like. 
great third baseman. Really fun to watch. And a 2023 Tops. With the 88 Tops design. All-Star. Just thought this was so cool. Autograph. Peck pulled autograph card. And an 8.5. That's what the back looks like. A 1909 Piedmont from the T206 set of George Mullen in a 1.5. Got the Piedmont back there. And we have a 1928 Thorpe's ice cream card of George Yule in a 1.5. And how about a hockey card? 2021-2022 Upper Deck Middle Universe in a 7.5. Really enjoy these PMGs. That's what the pack looks like. And here's one. A 1996 Action Packed Artist Proof of Jerry Rice. A 9.5. And here's a 2005-2006 Parkhurst and a 9.5. Got this rookie card for next to nothing. Let's see here. Ooh, here we go. And I was able to find one in my soccer collection. 2016 Panini U.S. Soccer. Carly Lloyd. This is the hollow. A 9.5. Really fun looking card. I wanted to get one of her represented in my collection. One of the all time greats. And one of my favorite cards ever. This 1998 1999 Flare Showcase Row 2. Dirk Nowitzki. Now this is, uh, I guess you could consider this a parallel since it's a row two, uh, but it would be like one of the most common parallels. So they're still fairly easy to pull, but just love this versus the base because it had, they put their numbers behind them. Just love the fact that his numbers behind there. Just thought that was so cool looking. This is an 8.5. Probably have 10 of these cards. They're, they're just so awesome. The all-time great basketball players. And here's the same card in a cards there. And here's one. A 1990-1991 NBA Hoops of Sam Vincent in a 9.5. Now you can see why the Sam Vincent card is graded. It's because it's got a picture of Michael Jordan in his one and only game wearing the jersey number 12. His uh, game jersey got stolen, so he had to grab one in a hurry. It just happened to be number 12. And this picture of Sam Vincent was taken during that game. Just thought this was a really cool card. That's what the back looks like. It's really more of a Michael Jordan card <laughs> to me. So...
And we have a Jason Kidd. Rookie cut. This is a die cut and an 8.5. So the back looks like. And a Chris Paul. This is from the 2010-2011 Gold Standard. Gold Nuggets. 9.5. Just thought that was a cool looking card. Chris Paul. One of my all-time favorite point guards. And here's another guard for you. Walt Frazier. A beautiful 8.5. Really nice autograph there. What's the back looks like. And two more. Have a 1992 Tops Gold Dan Marino in a 9.5. And the last one here is a 2001 Fleer Authority Ladanian Tomlinson rookie card and an 8.5. Really love these cards, this set. Looks like the players are just jumping out of the picture frame there. Just fun. Well, hey everyone. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already checked out the card pile, please go do so. If you want to show your support, um, feel free to make a video showing your, your graded cards with a point. It'd be a lot of fun to see them. And as always, thanks for watching and enjoy the hobby.